Welcome back everyone. Week four of my one sketch challenge. I can honestly say I am glad to see the end of this sketch. I took one sketch and rotated it clockwise each time. So now I'm up to number four. This is the fourth rotation and that's what I've got to work with. I've taken these photos of my children and we are at a Uruguayan independent celebration. My parents arrived in Australia from South America, a little country called Uruguay. And even though I was raised here in Australia, I, I do embrace my own heritage and that's what I wanted my children to do as well. I want them to know that even though they live in Australia and yes, they are Australian and their dad's Australian and I consider myself Australian as well. I wanted them to know that there's another side and that their grandparents are from South America and I wanted to embrace that culture as well. I love this paper from Simple Stories. It was so appropriate for this layout. It's from the I Am collection and I loved that map. This world of the map was just considering that it's about your heritage, well this layout is about your heritage. I had to fussy cut it out and I do use it on the layout. And I also cut out this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. It's got the yellow and I wanted to bring some yellow into the, into the layout because of the sun that's on the, oh, the sun that's on the, what they called the flag that's it and the other side of the paper has these lovely yellow roses and I thought yes I'll use it it's got the same tone of yellow as the butterfly because obviously it's the same paper and I'm just going to map my photos with this paper so I love the contrasting color that that match gives to the photo and my next step was to take this paper from Eco Park it's from the happy birthday collection I, think, I believe the paper's called age is only an age, is just a number. And I'm just going to use my trimmer just to cut this paper as one of the layers behind the photos as per the sketch that I'm following. Tell me ladies, are you as surprised as I am when I go through my stash and I find these papers that I had no idea I had? I'll end up choosing that sort of paper there, the one that looks like raindrops or something as my main paper and I had no idea I had that. It is from Bella Boulevard and it's All People, All Nations I believe it was called and the actual paper was called Hope and I just loved it as my background. I thought it picked up on the blue and yeah, most appropriate for this layout about heritage. My next choice in paper is also from Bella Boulevard. I believe it's from the same collection or people or nations and the actual paper is called United. From this paper United I did fussy cut the map of South America but unfortunately it doesn't make it onto this particular layout. But I do use the other side of the paper as my second piece of paper that I cut out as per the sketch as one of the layers and another paper goes from my stash, this time from Eco Park going back to 2013. So I'm pretty proud of myself for using that up. And my next step was that I decided I needed to give my photos a second mat. So I found some blue cardstock or sort of bluey grey card and cardstock. And I'm just giving my photos a second mat, I guess you could call it. And then I'm going to ink them with some, I believe it was a distress crayon that I, yes it is a distress crayon there, I believe that was, oops, sorry, no, nope, I cannot believe anything because I can't, can't remember what it's called. So what I did next was I inked all the edges of my paper, but then I decided that I liked the, the maps that it gave to the photos, so now I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, I'm going to match all these pieces of paper with that blue cardstock and it I liked it because it brought everything together it united everything together and I quite liked that as you can see my next step was to do some stenciling so I'm just using a Kim Holt stencil and the piece that I'm using is one from Nuvo it's the Nuvo embellishment mousse and I love the metallic dimension that it's added to my layout I only wanted specks of these dots. They, um, they're not really dots. Oh, yes, they are. You could call them dots. Anyway, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I didn't want them going everywhere, so I just randomly applied it. I didn't really think about it. I just plonked down the mousse, and where it landed, that's where it landed. 
You can probably tell by the length of this video that this layout did not take me very long at all. And if you remember the sketch at the beginning of this video, you will see that even though I followed it closely in regards to the placement of my paper layers, when it came to some of the embellishments, at the top right hand corner they had some circles well and the banner. I omitted the banner, but what I did do instead of the circle, I put the butterfly there. And on the bottom left hand corner where they had another circle, well, I sort of had a circle. It is the map of the world, which is a circle in itself, but I didn't strictly follow this sketch. I, I took my own, my own little liberties, but that's what sketches are about. They are there to just inspire you. I found in my stash that I had two papers from 2013, the Eco Park paper. I decided I was going to use it to match my layout and that's exactly what I did. I just ended up trimming the hope paper maybe two or three mils on all four sides so that I gave it a nice even pattern, not pattern, but a nice even border or so for my title I'm going to be using the Coco Vanilla Alphabet stickers from the Totally Rad collection and I use them to spell out the word embrace. And then your I think I just used some um, stickers that I have there, little stickers, they're just from the everyday set I don't even know, I think they're American crafts, but don't quote me on that. And the word heritage, I'm going to use these lovely foam pickers from American Crafts, and they are called Happy Life, and I absolutely love them. I then am going to be using these lovely puffy stickers from Pink Fresh, and I pulled out, the first one I pulled out says, this is your story, and spoke to me. I just thought, yes, this is your story. This is how we came to being in Australia, and I do land up sticking it right underneath my little daughter there. Then I worked on the journaling, and the journaling is basically just about how uh, their grandparents came from Uruguay with, with their baby daughter, which is me back then, and that they decided that they... Australia was going to offer a better life for them and yes, uh, that was just part of our story. So I quite like this other puffy sticker from that Pink Fresh collection and it just says, just us and our stories and really, isn't that what our lives are? It's just us, our families and our stories that make us who we are today. But anyway, enough of my prattling. Thank you all so much. If you haven't already done so, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel that I'm trying to grow. There will be a little giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. So thank you all so much. Until next time, take care.